Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can stake your Ethereum with Rocket Pool. Now there's a number of ways that you can do this. The first and most basic one is that you can simply just go to rocketpool.net, which is their website. You can scroll down to the button that says stake and you can hit that, which is gonna bring you to an app where you can actually stake your Ethereum. Now, in order to use this app, you're gonna need a web browser wallet. For example, something like MetaMask or the Coinbase wallet. Once you connect your wallet by hitting this icon here in the top right-hand corner and accepting the terms, you can choose which wallet you're using. I'm gonna select MetaMask and connect this way. And then you'll be able to stake your ETH directly with Rocket Pool. And the minimum is 0.01. Now, one thing I will say is that the transaction cost to stake on the Ethereum mainnet can be quite high. So you can see right now that the gas fees for this transaction are gonna be $18.68, which is actually more than the value of the Ethereum that I would be staking here anyway. So I only really recommend directly staking with Rocket Pool if you're actually staking a larger amount. But if you only wanted to get, say, 0.01 ETH, the transaction costs are really gonna make staking it this way pretty impractical. So there's actually a few ways around that, which I'll show you now. First is that you can go to a decentralized exchange, something like Uniswap, and then you can select which token you want to swap into, and you can just buy the RETH, which is a token that represents staked ETH and actually accrues the staking rewards directly. So you can actually make a trade for RETH this way. And as you can see, the cost for this transaction is $6.11, because making swaps on the Ethereum network costs costs slightly less than actually staking on the Ethereum network. So this is one workaround where you can reduce the costs of staking and still have ETH on the Ethereum mainnet, which as I'll talk about in future videos, for example, when it comes to restaking with the Eigen layer, that is important. You have to have ETH sometimes on the mainnet. And you can do this on other exchanges as well. For example, one that I like to use is Slingshot because there's speculation they might have an airdrop at some point in the future and you can choose which token here and swap for our ETH this way as well. Now, one other trick that you can use to stake your ETH and save even more money on transaction costs is by doing it on a different layer two Ethereum network. So ETH mainnet we know is the most expensive, but these different layer twos have much lower gas fees. And so for example, if I wanted to stake my ETH on Optimism, which is one of the layer twos, I can do that. I can swap ETH for our ETH or I can swap any other token for our ETH on the Optimism network and the transaction costs, as you can see here, are going to be approximately 52 cents as opposed to $6 to swap on the mainnet or $18 to stake directly with Rocket Pool. So this really is the cheapest way that you can stake your Ethereum is by doing it on a layer two network and by swapping on a decentralized exchange. And once you have those RE tokens, they automatically accrue the staking rewards for you. Currently, the APR on average is 4.31% per year. Good luck.